We're still in the 04 viewports.dwg file, and you're following along with your saved version, your local version that you've downloaded from the lynda.com exercise files. Now, I've deliberately left the drawing in the same layout tab that we were using in the previous video, which is the stair A layout tab, bottom left corner of the screen. And I'm in the layout tab on the ribbon because I'm working with my layout viewports. Now, in the previous two videos, we looked at clipping a viewport to make it into a different shape, which is our rectangular one here. And then in the video before that, we did a polygonal viewport in the irregular space as well. Now, the other really neat feature with viewports in AutoCAD is the ability to create a viewport from any object. And it's really rather useful. You can have circular viewports. You can have ellipsoidal viewports. So what we're going to do, just for a little bit of fun, is we're going to delete this viewport here. So if I click on it like that and just hit the delete key on the keyboard, that loses that viewport. Just make sure that you are on the viewports layer, obviously, because when you draw the object, it's going to become a viewport. So I'm going to go to the Home tab on the ribbon, like so. I'm going to go to the Draw panel and the Circle command and select Center Radius from the flyout. I'm going to pick a point roughly here in the center-ish of that space there, click, and just drag your circle so that it fits that space. Not worried about what radius it is, just click to place it freehand like so. So that's our object now that is going to become our viewport. All I do now is go up to the Layout tab on the ribbon, and I go to my Layout Viewports panel. And remember, this can only be done in your Layout tabs. It can't be done in the Model tab, bottom left corner of the screen. So I select on the Flyout here, Object, like so. And now it asks me to select the object to clip the viewport. So basically, this is, in essence, a clipping object where I'm clipping to create a new viewport. Very similar to the clipping that I did with the rectangle in the previous video. But you'll notice there's things like on, off, fit. I can lock it. It can be an object. So I can go and do that clipping object if I want to, and so on. So there's all those tools available to me down there on the command line. And if I right click, obviously they are also on the shortcut menu as well. I'm going to select the object now to clip the viewport here, like that. So I'm just going to click there, job done, and hey look, that is now a circular viewport. So what I could do there is now double click inside the viewport, zoom in, get the view that I want in the viewport, get it nice and tight like that. So there's my little staircase and my lift shaft. Double click outside that viewport to deactivate, and I've now got a circular viewport that I've created from a regular AutoCAD object. Now, if you remember the polygonal viewport that we created using the polygonal viewport command, what I could have done is actually just drawn a polyline around that irregular space in here and then used the object setting in the viewports in the layout viewports panel instead and selected that irregular polyline. It would have still created the irregular polygonal viewport if I wanted it to. So object and polygonal can actually sort of coexist when you're creating your viewports in your layout tabs in AutoCAD 2017.